this this 4s2 and the 3d4 the 3d4 is very very unstable meaning the d the d subshell contains five orbitals right i told you one two three four and five these are the five orbitals that we have remember i told you that each orbital can have a maximum of how many electrons two electrons only now these are the four electrons now meanwhile i am discussing this i'll also explain the hans rule hans rule says that the electrons will always be added to the the electrons will always be added to the empty orbitals first and then they'll get paired up okay so these are the four electrons right the first electron let's assume it's added to this orbital the second electron will not come to this orbital because this has been partially filled so the second electron will go on to the next orbital okay then the third and then the fourth empty seats will be filled first according to hans rule you are gonna fill in the orbitals singly first <coughs> excuse me now these are the four electrons that we've accommodated but remember guys this is a very unstable configuration okay this is an unstable configuration because this 4s2 over here this 4s what this 4s does is to become stable to become stable this 4s it causes one of its electrons to excite and half partially fill the entire subshell okay this 4s instead of the 2 becomes a 1 and the 3d instead of a 4 becomes a 5 okay because of stability whenever the d orbitals are half filled they are very very stable and remember one thing anything in nature would want to stay in its most stable form okay stable means it's it's gonna exist in that form okay it's its chance of existing increases this is what stability means it's gonna it's not gonna change into some other substance okay it's gonna stay as it is in this configuration whereas this configuration which was the original one according to the Hoffman's principle this was a less stable one so anything in nature any element would want to stay in the most stable form so in order to achieve the maximum stability this s electron is transferred to the next shell the subshell sorry so this electron is excited to the d orbital so 4s1 and 3d5 is the electronic configuration of chromium okay instead of the expected 4s2 and 3d6 or, or, or 3d4 okay but this is the only exception chromium is one exception and we also have a second exception to the Oppos principle is copper its proton number is 29 right it has 29 electrons so let's add in the 29 electrons 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s and 3d now in case of copper according to the Oppos principle it should be 4s2 and 3d9 okay it should be because if you count this up it's gonna total up to 29 okay and according to Oppo's principle the 4s needs to be filled first before we go on to the 3d orbital right according to Oppo's principle because this arrow ends here and then the next arrow starts from here but in this case only the 3d9 if i were to draw in uh, okay now let's assume that these five orbitals are for copper okay and in the d d subshell we've got a maximum of 10 electrons that we can accommodate right but we've got only nine electrons over here in the 3d right the nine electrons in this present state of copper the nine electrons how are we going to fill in uh, fill in the nine electrons according to hans rule we're going to first fill in the them singly right and then we are going to pair them up so the nine electrons the first electron second third fourth and fifth we still left, left with four electrons. Now the pairing will start. <coughs> now the electrons have become paired. Okay. Now these are nine electrons. 
and whenever you are pairing them so remember the electrons will have opposite directions okay they have they will have opposite spins and this sign is for electrons okay it's not for data of your phones it's not for data okay <laughs> remember you guys recognize this sign you can see it on your 4g written next to the 4g on your data when you open the data okay anyways now these are the electrons that we have the nine electrons now this copper as well in order to achieve maximum stability what it does is from its 4s orbital which contains the two electrons it causes one of the electron to go up, up. basically the four it's 4s right so it's at, at a lower energy level so what it does is it causes one electron to jump up to the higher energy level and as soon as this electron jumps up to the higher energy level the d subshell completes it completes itself it becomes full and remember whenever a, a subshell is partially filled or fully filled it's always in the most stable configuration so this is also for stability okay so copper instead of the 4s2 is actually 4s1 and 3d10 so it appears as if the 3d orbital is filled before the 4s actually it's not filled but rather it's for stability that the 4s is going to become 1 and the 3d is going to become 10 but what if we had let's say something like something with an atomic number of let's say 20 <coughs> eight if we had an atomic number of 28 how are we going to write down the electronic configuration for this one now see start out the same obvious principle is going to apply we'll start out from 1s 1s2 two electrons gone 26 left 2s2 two more gone 24 left 2p6 six gone so 20 left right then 6, 8, 10 gone actually, so 18 left basically. After the 2p6 comes the 3s2, then the 3p6, then the 4s, and then the 3d, right, according to this principle. 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 3d. Now, we have filled in the 2s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, so 6 plus 2 is, um, uh, 6 plus 4 is 10, 2 is 12 plus 6 is 18 now 18 electrons are gone <laughs> we've out of the 28 we've added in 18 electrons how many are we left we are left with 10 electrons now out of the 10 electrons we are going to fill in the 4s orbital first according to the obvious principle and then the 3d needs to be filled okay so this is going to become the 4s2 how many are we left with 4 sorry 8 so 3d8 this is going to be the electronic configuration for an atomic number of 28 okay remember just simply remember that you are going to follow this obvious principle in every case except for these two chromium and copper because in chromium and copper it's the 4s that appears to be filled before the 3d okay and all the other ones see over here sorry uh, because in copper and chromium it's a 3d that it seems to be filled before the 4s but over here in this case it's the 4s2 that is filled the 4s is filled before the 3d okay the 4s is 2 and it's completely filled and the 3d is not completely filled okay it's 3d8 it's filled in the end that's why so this is how you're going to write down the electronic configuration clear so that's completes in the electronic configuration that's everything about the electronic configuration and you can try out a few questions uh, for yourself uh, okay let's try out this last thing about the Hans rule if we've got five electrons in the p orbital how are we going to represent them in the orbital form the three orbitals of p are px py and pz okay five electrons are in here so the first electron then the second electron will it be added to the same orbital no it will be added to the next one because electron will always find try to find an empty seat for it himself okay whenever you hop into a bus and you see that there are passengers already sitting in the bus then you'll always try to go to the seat which is empty okay you won't go try to get the half filled seat if there is an empty seat 
so the electrons also have a similar behavior towards their seats the seats are the orbitals in here so first electron then comes the second then comes the third then comes the fourth one now after the three are filled the fourth one doesn't have a choice it has to take one of the three half filled seats right so it got, it's gonna get added and whenever it's added its direction changes okay because the electrons basically we call this spin the spin of the electron changes because of uh, they are like charges so in order to minimize repulsion they change the direction of spin okay and then the last one is this one this is the Hans rule okay and I hope this clears all everything about the Hans rule about the off principle and how you are going to write down the electronic configuration thank you